Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to create a wallpaper app in just five minutes. Trust on me, we are going to do this in this video. In just five minutes, we are going to create an amazing wallpaper app. I used a little bit of chat GPT. I used a little bit of creativity to create this application. So before starting the video, let's see a demo what we are going to create and then we we'll see how to create this. So for this, first of all, I open my phone screen. So you can see I open one phone screen and this is the application which we are going to create wallpaper app five minutes. So I open this. So now you can see it just need a image URL and a download button and a set wallpaper button. So what will happen? So when I tap on this image URL and it just suppose I randomly paste any image URL. So I click on download. So it will download this image URL and you can see this is very amazing. You just need to paste the image address from anywhere you want and you just you can set that wallpaper in your phone so it's quite amazing and it, and you can definitely develop this application and you can upload it on play store or you can add it in your projects as well because it's not a only a project it is a little bit of creative project you just need to paste an image url or something kind of cool thing which you can show in your college first year second year if you are in so now i downloaded this wallpaper just need to i click on set wallpaper so when i tap on set wallpaper you can see the wallpaper set successfully so here you can see so we are going to create this amazing thing in today's video so don't skip the video watch the video till end and if you don't subscribe to the channel till now then please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification one more thing i want to say this image i get from unsplash and this is the copyright free images with attribution so the all attribution link in the description below so now let's start the video and we will going to see how to use chat gpt as well in this android application so let's start so for this i open my android project and just go to file the new new project and and now in recent Android Studio update, you can see there is a no of empty activity. If you choose this empty activity, it will create a compose activity. So you just need to select empty views activity. You can use this and then give any application name, wallpaper app tutorial in five minutes and click on finish. So it will create a project for us. So let's wait for a Gradle build. So Gradle is building. Let's wait. So our project built successful. Now we need to paste some dependencies which we want to use uh, in wallpaper app. So first of all, open your manifest and uh, inside manifest, you just need to use two permissions as well. So first permission of internet because we are going to fetch the image from internet. And then second permission is set wallpaper. So wallpaper, this one set wallpaper, this is done. Now we also need to import a dependency as well. So just open your build.gradle module app because we are going to load the image using the help of client. So this is the all logic behind the wallpaper app. I hope you now get it, how it is working. So I just opened my previous project and open this build.gradle and copy this client version. You can use the latest version if you are watching the video after so long time from this tutorial. Now click on sync now and it will help to sync the project. So see, project sync successful. Now let's open your activity main XML file and here we need a button and a text view and a edit text so first of all i am changing the constraint layout to native layout you can use any layout it is your choice now how i how i use chat gpt to in, in this application so what's you just need to go on chat gpt app website and you can see i say to it can you share best edit text background drawable app so he say so chat gpt says gradient drawable you can use this so now I say some share some examples to use in my application of as a edit text background. So I copy this background and another thing I say to chat GPT, can you share the example of material edit text? So you can see it share me all the code. So this is how I get the code of XML. So let's open and if I open my previous project. So here you can see this is our ATBG. I just take this from chat GPT. So I am copying from this here. You can also take the from chat GPT and you can use your own color. It is your choice. Now just go on to your drawable and paste it here. So ATBG. Then inside activity main XML file, what you need to do? I need to just copy this layout. So because I can think you can create the layout according to your own creativity and you can create whatever you want. So just I paste it here. But more quickly, I want to explain how this layout is working. So you can see just it is not a complex layout. It is just a linear layout here. And inside this linear layout, what I have, I have this text input layout, which I take from ChatGPT. And it contain a hint and the ID ET URL. Now inside this app compile button, I just need a, I just type here download and 
I give the background ETVG which we are created here. And below this what we have below this what we have we have an image view with the height or width of match parent match parent button ID is IV wallpaper in this is image view and it is this is layout below below this layout and you need to don't need to give any scale type if you don't want to decrease the quality of your image and after and I just give the margins here and at the end bottom what I have I have this button set wallpaper match parent wrap content align parent bottom pass to so this is done so this is just xml simple xml code now let's move on to the main code how this application is working and how we are able to download and set the wallpaper so first we need to assign the xml id into kotlin id so let's just take this so bg download you can also use view winding as well it is your choice so this is first thing app compared button second thing bt download bt set wallpaper this is also app compared button then private lit init van et url this is text input very text and at the end image view private lit init van iv wallpaper so image view now i am just assigning copy these things like this one only and so i just copy this so this is just a intended work you can do so you can see bt download bt self wallpaper bt url iv wallpaper so first of all what i need to do so if someone click on download button bt download dot set on click list no? so what i have to do i have to download the image so first of all i i am add i can add a check here so if et url dot text to string is empty if this text is empty then i can show the toast here toast dot make text application context please enter image url toast dot length short dot show and inside else part we just need to take this url so val url et url dot text to string so it will give this url and now we will call the function download wallpaper download wallpaper so inside this i just pass this url now let's create this function private private why is not coming here this is the back question private one download wallpaper and inside this you just need to take the string of the url so i take this as a parameter now inside this i just need to write the code so i am going to use this glide so just import this glide glide dot with context so application context dot load here you can use load you can also set a placeholder if you don't want to show show a empty white image and now at the end where we want to load inside our iv wallpaper image view so it will load this so this is done now after this what we need we need to if someone click on bt set wallpaper dot set text set on click listener sorry set on click listener so if someone click on this then we need to set the wallpaper so how we can set this so for this first of all we have to take the bitmap from the image view and then we will set that bitmap on our wallpaper so here you can see i just so here you can see i just pasted this part so i just need to take the bitmap from the image viewer so you just need to type declare a variable of bitmap type and then you need to take drawable as a bitmap drawable dot bitmap then you need to set to set the wallpaper on your phone you just need to take the instance of wallpaper manager so this is inbuilt in nano studio so you just need to type here wallpaper manager dot get instance using application context and then you need to just set the bitmap and after this you can show that was set successfully so you can see this is done so here you can see i just created this wallpaper app in just five minutes so now let's run this application and see whether it is working or not and if it is working fine let's end this video and if you don't like the video till now then please like the video and, and please subscribe the channel for more upcoming tutorials so please guys subscribe the channel because we have a low number of subscribers till yet so i press on run button gradle start building so let's wait for a gradle build so gradle build successful let's install this application in our phone just paste this url download if you click on download you can see it is done now click on set wallpaper it will not show any difference because already previous wallpaper is also same but it is working so i hope guys you learn something new in this video if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe the channel and please share the video thank you guys see you soon in next amazing cool and amazing project thank you